Hello, I am Christopher from China Mobile Mac and today I am having a look at the EFOX Value C6 which is one of the newest phone made by EFOX or at least rebranded by EFOX. EFOX is selling phones under their own brand for quite a while now. Basically they are all rebranded phones but sold at a pretty attractive price. This EFOX Value C6 is comparable to the Pomp C6 Mini. So it's basically the same phone, just with EFOX logo and customized packaging and so on. I apologize in advance if I sound somehow strange. I have a really bad flu right now and I have really trouble to speak. So please bear with me. So start with, let's start with the review now. Okay guys, first we look at the package contents of the phone. It comes in this nice box with a really quality printed wrapper. Inside is a carton box made of recycled paper. You can flip it open to the sides and then the internals will appear. So what's inside the box? Of course next to the phone there is a micro USB cable which is a flat one which is pretty nice and it also has this little piece of rubber here which holds it together so you can carry it around very conveniently. You also get a silicon bumper for protection of the phone's rear. Then you get a replacement protective film, one is already applied to the phone out of the box and you get this user manual also with the EFOX logo on top, it's in English language and pretty in depth. And we also get a wall charger with German plug here. It's a normal USB wall charger and also with the EFOX logo on top. So that's pretty nice what you get here and how it's all made. Um, the only thing that is kind of disappointing is that headphones are missing here. Okay, the design is of course looking just the same as the POMP C6 Mini. We have the white model here which also has a black front and just the rear is white. On the front we find sensors for gesture control, proximity and light. Here is the phone call speaker, here is the front camera and you can see it right now but there also is a status LED. Below the screen are the usual soft touch buttons for menu home and back. Those are not back illuminated here. On the sides we find nothing on the left side. On the lower side we find a micro USB port and a voice microphone. And on the right side we find the volume rocker and the on off switch. On the upper side we find the 3.5mm headphone jack. And turning the phone around we find here on the upper edge a rear camera, the LED flash and another microphone for the camera. We find an EFOX logo and on the bottom we find a speaker opening and FCCC and ROHS logos. And when removing the rear cover, which is going nice by the way, we see the battery, here the micro, uh, micro SD card slot, the normal SIM card slot and a micro SIM card slot. So that's pretty much it. It's a neat design, very good build quality, nothing is clattering around when shaking it. The buttons are perfectly in place and do not move. And yeah, perfect build quality, pretty nice for the price of just 99 euros. Okay guys, now let's have a look at the screen and Evox is claiming that the phone comes with a LG panel and this is hard to believe at the price of 99 euros but it actually appears to be true because the quality of the screen is simply amazing for such a cheap phone. It, first of all, it has an amazing brightness, it's almost too bright, especially in darkness at lowest brightness setting, it is still too bright. but. This has one plus, you can read it perfectly fine under direct sunlight, so this is really good. Also, color reproduction, reaction times, 
and touch screen and contrast of the panel are just amazing it looks just really really beautiful and when coming close to the screen you actually see that you almost can't notice any pixels which is surprising for a 5 inch 720p panel the viewing angles are also very very good you can see that here you can see everything from the sides brightness is going down a little bit but that's normal but colors do not change at all and you can perfectly read everything from every angle so the screen is just amazing for such a low cost phone Okay guys, next stop are the benchmarks and we have let the N22 benchmark run on the phone and it reached 17,454 points which is pretty high for a 720p MT6582 based phone and when you look at the comparison table we see that the EFOX Value C6 is between the Xiaomi Redmi and the Samsung Galaxy S3 so let's drop by at 3D Mark and here you can see that it reached 2881 points in the iStorm Limited benchmark, 2090 points in the iStorm Extreme benchmark, and 2987 points in the normal iStorm benchmark. Next, Willemo, and here the phone reached 1964 points in the HTML5 test, and 509 points in the Metal test. And lastly, GFX Bench. And here the phone reached 377 points.
now it's just like, man, you gotta have that time where you just like disconnect from this, from the scene, just the, the, the race. Like, and, and it's a race that I've created in my head, you know? But you have to step away from it. Okay, now let's do a little multimedia test. And for this purpose, I will, as usual, open up some YouTube video for the audio demo. And I have to say that HD videos are played perfectly fine on the phone. Unfortunately, YouTube videos do lag a bit, but you can get around this by using an alternative player such as Viral. And the entire speaker actually sounds pretty good, even though it has no best playback, but it's pretty loud and it does not overdrive at full volume, which is pretty good. So if you want to listen to music without any high demands, you will be fine with it. Unfortunately, I was not able to test the audio output through the headphone jack because it simply does not work. Um, it has some loose contact or something, but I think this will not happen to most other devices and this is an exception here. At least I hope so. If this isn't the case, please give a comment on that. So let's start with the audio demo now. Okay, next let's talk about reception quality and here the phone did surprise me again. It provides a perfect reception quality both for GSM and 3G. There were no problems at all during the whole test and also the voice quality during phone calls is very good because of that. So this is performing really well in this category. Wi-Fi reception is also working very nice in the whole house. No signal losses or anything, even outside in the garden it works perfectly well. So giving a, the phone 8 points out of 10 if you would rate it according to points. So um, Bluetooth is working well as well and yeah 15 meters under free view are a good range I think for a phone. And something that really surprised me was the performance of the GPS antenna. It appears to be pretty pretty good outside on the cloudy sky it reached a fix for 7 satellites within just a few seconds and an accuracy of 2 meters which is pretty pretty good and just look at the bars here they are almost on top so this means the signal strength of the satellites is pretty pretty high. Next test was inside the house in front of a window fix for 6 satellites and an accuracy of 4 meters and again still very good signal strength for the satellites so the antenna is really amazing in here. And the hardcore test within the house, in the middle of the house, without any window nearby, fixed for 7 satellites and 6 meters of accuracy. And I did another test of which I didn't do a screenshot, but we had some thunderstorm here. And I closed the blinds and tried to get a GPS signal at my desk. And actually it did work with a fix for 3 satellites and 9 meters of accuracy. So this is probably the best GPS test result that we've ever had here at China Mobile Mac with any tested phone. And it even outperforms most of the Qualcomm chipset. So that's pretty amazing for a MediaTek phone. Okay, next let's talk about battery life and Efox is delivering a 2000 mAh battery with the EFOX Valio C6 which can be replaced. A replacement battery is priced at around 6 euros at this time so it's pretty affordable. 
Um, 2000 milliamps are pretty much enough for a 5 inch 720p phone with a MT65A2 processor, so you get easily over the day with it. And you also should be able to get one and a half days out of the battery if you do some power saving, so that's pretty good. And charging the battery just takes close to one hour, so it's charged pretty quickly. And that's again definitely a plus for the phone. Okay, now if you ask where's the downside, everything was great so far except the defective headphone jack. Well, the low price probably comes from the bad camera inside the phone. It only has a 5 megapixel rear camera and a 2 megapixel front camera. And the rear camera is doing pictures with a pretty good color reproduction, but they totally lack um, depth of field, so pictures get unsharp and without much details. And another issue is that the images tend to get pretty noisy if the lightning conditions are bad. The internal LED flash is also pretty much unusable. And the same is noticeable during video recordings. Um, the front camera is also not that good. It's okay for video chats, but don't expect to do selfies with it. So the camera is probably the reason why it also only costs 99 euros. But, well, you can't be mad at the phone because of that, as the price is pretty good. So, that's still okay, at least in my opinion. Okay, let's come to the final conclusion of the Evox Wario C6. Well, in my opinion, it's an amazing phone for just 99 euros. The reception quality is just insane, the battery life is, well, good. And the screen is amazing for the price, so you get a decent phone. Oh, and as well, the build quality is also pretty solid. And you wouldn't um, notice that it is a 99 euro phone when holding it in your hands. What I didn't mention is that the rear surface is kind of rubberized, so it is actually is kind of sticky and it won't slip out of your hand, so that's again a plus. So, if you don't really need a great camera, but count on good reception quality, especially at GPS, near a good screen and so on. You probably go well with purchasing this phone if you need a good camera. You probably should look elsewhere, maybe even if in the high-end area, keyboard, Maizu or Oppo. They also have pretty decent phones with amazing cameras. So, well, that being said, I can recommend you to purchase this phone if you do not need a good camera. As I said, it's priced at 99 euros. Of course, it's available through evox-shop.com. And if you did like this video, please give us a thumbs up, reply in form of a comment, or even subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye and see you soon.